gorgeous day to visit Kyoto. delivered to our room again this morning. This is the Japanese style breakfast and I got some kind of drink. I didn't know what it was. Peter got BLT and some orange juice. So I thought this was gonna be tea, but it's not. It's like chicken broth. Like if you just drank straight up chicken broth. Not terrible, but a bit salty. Coffee and a massage. What a way to have your coffee in the morning. If you wanted just a time to relax, like, stay at a love hotel. I was skeptical about love hotels, but um, this massage chair sold me. Plus all the trying, all the free samples. What about this? Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Arigato. Oh, Arigato. Thank you. Thank you. There were all these different um, samples we could try of things. So this was like some Panasonic items. Um, this was hair styling items. Um, and this was then shampoo and conditioner. So the, we tried a Panasonic um, head scalp thing. Amazing. I thought it would pull your hair, but it doesn't. Like seriously, I thought that would totally pull my hair, but it doesn't. It feels just so good. Really enjoyed our stay at the Love Hotel. But today we are exploring Kyoto, just a little bit here, time to pack up, get down to Osaka by tonight. Osaka is the second largest city in Japan, and Kyoto is another city. It's about only like 30 minutes between um, Kyoto and Osaka. Let's go. Let's go. Peter got some work done this morning, which was good, but now that means it's almost noon. And I'm hungry. Get some food and go tour. Yep. All right, thankfully they have luggage storage. So we can go bag free. Yeah. Oh, so glad that we used yesterday as a stay in the hotel because yesterday it was like really cloudy and raining. Um, we didn't even check on the weather when we made that decision. And now it's so nice. Let's do that. Oh, it's not a person. That's an ATM. All right, it rejected our ATM card. Go to post office, now we know. All right. Hello. Does, uh... Thank you. Go. All right, so there's the bus pass and there's the subway pass. There we go. Boom, 900 for that, not bad. So they also give you instructions. In so English? Now, yeah. That's awesome. So if you use today, so it's not 24 hour. For Kyoto, it's day of only. People in Japan, they will help you out so much and go out of their way, even if they're not the right person that like is supposed to deal with that. So for example, we here the, here's a ticket guy right here, but we went further down. It's like where there was a weird curtain. Thing. We pushed a button, talked to somebody. He was really helpful and let us know um, that had to be cash only, all that. So then we went and got the cash, then we came back and it was a different person. And he's like, oh, you get the ticket down there. So I was like, oh goodness, here we were. We thought <laughs> that we were at the right location. Um, and uh, no, we weren't. But instead of saying right away, oh, sorry, I'm not, the, I'm not the person that deals with that. You have to go talk to this guy. They are so helpful and um, the first guy really like helped us out. I love the Japanese people. They are so friendly. All right, so the bus is actually going to be faster for this first route. Good thing we got the combo ticket. Probably use the bus more than we thought we would. All right, so we show this to the bus driver. So the bus we were just on, we had told him where we wanted to go. And uh, speaking about how Japanese people are very helpful, um, he's like, oh, no, 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 you get off here and then you ride this next one one more stop. Well, we were going to take his bus one more stop and then just walk six minutes. Instead, we'll wait here like six minutes 
and then be taken directly there. But it was just so sweet, like, they just really want to help you out. They're like, no, 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 like, get off, get off. All right, now this one shows that it's arriving, and there it is. All right, so we stopped at the same stop the other one would have got us to, but uh, we got here not, not too long to leave. Funny thing is we started walking that way, and then we quickly turned around. Oh, I'm gonna wait, Peter. We quickly turned around, and uh, the person that got off the bus with us, she pointed like, yep, that's the way you wanna go, because this is the, uh, the shrine, and so she knew. So I just love it, everyone is so helpful. All because I missed one crosswalk. Lots of cute shots. One really fun thing that I did consider doing for a little bit was to rent a kimono and on Kluke they had deals where you could get it for like I think $26 or something like that for the day. That's not like a fun idea. And you run around here in traditional Japanese garb. here today. Vending stuff here, some little shops. Oh, there's another big one, Peter. Thank you. Have a nice trip. Well, look how many there are. So, all we did so far is just these. There's all of this to still do. I don't feel like we need to do all that, though. Goodness. All right, I think we're doing it. Because <laughs> why not? That was the most crowded because that's the first one you come to, and everyone's like, ooh, ah, uh, but now. Look how empty it is. This is great. It's really fun though, actually, just to walk through here. Woo! So we thought we were somewhere up there, but look, we're down here. That's fine. Time to, we'll head out. We just did this little circle here, so you can seriously, like, do this whole, whole, whole thing. Woo! We're good. Well, that was pretty unique, having all of those um, gates right back to back. What a cool shrine to, to come to. Oh my goodness, look at this. It looks terrible in the camera, but it's so magical. Love, love this. Oh my goodness, look at that matcha parfait. It even comes with a mini little gate. And it is about $13 too. Whoa. So for the fourth year in a row, this shrine has been voted by overseas tourists as the top landmark in all of Japan. I mean, it's just because it's so unique to have all of those red gates in a row. I mean, makes for gorgeous Instagram pictures, right? Uh, but also just really unique, lots of history here. So, and it's free. So yeah, gets my vote. So yeah, definitely a lot of shops. They seem reasonably priced. Oh goodness, look at her go. <laughs> we wanted to use this train here, but it clearly says the following tickets may not be used in the station, and these are the passes that we have, day pass, so it's not considered a subway, it's a train. So on to the bus, maybe? All right, so 15 minute walk from here to the nearest subway station. And then from there, we're gonna zip on over to the bamboo forest. Oh man, bigger grocery store, big bottle of water. It is hot today. Not sure what this is, but we think it has electrolytes in it. Good? It's very good. This is so different than 
Tokyo. I have never been more crowded in my life on a metro than we were in Tokyo. I mean, and I thought that I knew crowded transit, but that was, that was just, that took it to a whole new level. We were at that station, then we were at this bus stop, and now we're gonna go to that bus, bus stop, and maybe that's the right one. We've been out here for 30 minutes so far. Okay, asking information to figure out where to go on the bus. All of these aren't going in the direction we think that we're supposed to go. So, we'll walk eight minutes to another stop and hopefully it makes sense. These are the only three buses showing. Seven, seven. Which do not exist from here. And finally, dun dun dun! Goodness. <laughs> the hardest bus station to find. We've been looking for 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Wow. 30 seconds after we're here. But here's the crazy thing, Peter. This is not the longest we've ever waited for a bus or thirst for a bus. Do you remember in like Abu Dhabi? We would, because it was so bad with the app, like with Google, didn't have it, so we would wait like an hour. I like legit fell asleep. Gone for 30 minutes so far. Everyone just got off. Big old group. All right, this is our stop. Oh, I see. Yeah. Peace. Very clearly marked. There it is. We oh. are here. Okay, we're here at Bamboo Grove. So see, we're gonna go in, go through the park. Okay. So finally, path of bamboo. Apparently, there's a lot more to do in this area than we thought. A lot of people here just kind of hanging out. I guess it's like a good nature spot. Oh, yep. There may be monkeys in the area. This looks so cool. Oh, the air smells so fresh. Oh, we found it. There's bamboo. There it is. So cool. It is hard to make this look as good as it does in person. It just looks really cool with the different layers and everything. It's one of those places that it shows up better in person than in camera, where I feel like there are some other places that like looks better in camera and cooler in camera than is actually that cool. Like the red place where we were today, like the coolest thing about that was like the photos you're able to get but this I like better. That's only if you get the tour, because you can't walk through there. I bet that's where the cool photos so take. That, that is totally where the cool is. coolness is, but that's private property. Alright, I figured out why this area is so busy. There's also a temple and uh, gardens that are a World Heritage Site. Um, but instead we went to the free uh, bamboo forest, which was really cool. We're about to head to a Lawson's to grab a bite to That's eat it. because I don't think I can make it till we get to the market. 
Same prices, yep. We love our little convenience shops. This one's a sausage with rice and seaweed. And this one is chicken. Uh, 77, is that us? Yep. All right, here we are. And Google said we were going to be dropped off where? Over on that corner. So it just has this whole intersection totally messed up. Yeah. We are about to enter into the Kyoto market. Nishiki? Yeah, Nishiki. Six o'clock and stuff is starting to shut down. We got here late. We thought this would be our dinner, but I don't know. Those like some sweets. Found donuts you want? Oh, look how tiny they are. All right, we were about to spend 300 on uh, these little donuts. It looks pretty good, but I'd rather spend it on something uniquely Japanese. Our answer for everything right now is Walmart. So in a few days, we'll be in Hawaii, and we'll load up on donuts there. <laughs> oh my goodness. I wonder what our bill is going to be at Walmart. <laughs> no way. I guess you eat the inside of the sea urchins. I love it, just one long street. Traffic's still coming by. Chopsticks. Are you kidding? That is awesome. For 18 to 20 bucks. I think it's an arcade. They got the sticker machines out here. Arcades are so huge here. Maybe we should just look up Kyoto food and find a picture of the thing. That's a hachi. Oh, so that's what these gift boxes are. I don't think I've seen them sold separately. I don't, I don't know if I want to buy a whole box. Who knows if it's going to be... Right. Like, it looks like it's a red bean paste on the inside. Or that one looks... Oh, that one's strawberry. You can do your shopping outside the store. Oh, it's not an octopus, it's a crab. Another family mart dinner. <laughs> so we got um, shrimp pasta. When we left the bags with the hotel, we asked, and what time do you think you'll be getting back? So we were leaving at 11.30, and Peter goes, oh, we'll be back by four or five. And I immediately thought in my head, no, we won't be back until seven. It is now 6.45, and we are heading back to the hotel. Um, we were gonna go to a pagoda, but it's not on the correct subway line, and at this point, it's just kinda too late to get to, and uh, we wanna get down to Osaka. So, grab our bags and head down there. Still haven't booked our hotel room yet um, because we didn't know exactly what time we get down to Osaka and some of the check-ins end by like 8. So it might not be in time for those. Alright, and here's dessert. Individually wrapped chocolate. Four different kinds. Strawberry, chocolate, green tea, and then this one's supposed to be bitter. Ooh, that strawberry is good. Hotel Garden. It's so nice with the lights. Use our day pass to get back up to Kyoto Station. Did you catch that? So walking back to the subway where we just were, but we didn't have our bags, to use our day pass to get up to Kyoto Station to then catch the JR down to Osaka. And on the way down, we'll book our hotel. Good old JR. Always a little bit more, but we know they accept credit card. Wait, but then if this is where we're gonna come, somehow we got on the wrong subway, which our subway car doesn't work. So we're gonna go back to where we just were to ride the right train to the station so we can actually get out. The red ones don't count. The green. Maybe this goes the right way. I just saw that that one said Kyoto, so I just hopped on it because it was there. Yeah, that's it. It's gotta be it. Yeah, good. Just kidding, it wasn't that one either. What we need is on this side. 
we were going down really fast and you said go to Kyoto. And I just saw that four says Kyoto. So I just said, oh yeah, four goes to Kyoto, but that's the rapid one. We were supposed to take number three. This is where we made the air. Oops, sorry, babe. Oh, it's gone now. And when we were down here, this one was just about to leave. So I just like hopped on. I didn't even look at what number three said. That number three also says Kyoto and it's a subway. This will get us back to what we just were at with the car that we're supposed to use and we didn't get fined. That's good. Oops. Haha, <laughs> 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 it worked. Well, this is cool. Maybe somewhere here is where we buy our ticket. We got it to the Kyoto Tower. Look at that. It wasn't closed till midnight. We're good. See you, Mamiya Station? Yes. Today? Yes. How many people? Two. From Kyoto to Shinji Mamiya Station. Next, 8.59, track number six. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. It's in five minutes and you want to take a picture of this I'm building. I'm going to take one quick photo right here. <laughs> this is a really cool building. Kyoto Main Station. Nice. 9.20 for each of us to get down there. Not bad. It's a good one. For an hour. Because uh, two hours to Mount Fuji uh, from Tokyo was $34 each. There are even cheaper options down there. We just took JR because we knew they took credit card. Organized well so that way you're not standing over in line and going off the edge that way. Because we've seen that a couple of times, you know? Peter booked a place three minutes away for where we just got dropped off. Woohoo, uh, welcome to Osaka. This is where we fly out of in two days. Currently it's about 10 o'clock at night. So we've definitely stayed at a good mix of hotels while in Japan. We stayed at like two really nice hotels right around Disney. Um, and then we stayed in a capsule hotel in Tokyo. Then we just stayed at a love hotel. And now, we're going to a Japanese-style hotel. I love it, all these different guides. Here we go. This orange sign is us. It does look nice. Oh, gotcha. Let's check it out. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Do you feel short? Because I, 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 I feel I, tall. Yeah. Oh, I can't Guys, get look. Oh. But we're supposed to get small. <laughs> we are in the Japanese style corridor. It's better than a capsule, really I guess. I can handle a doorway. The doorway is on the second floor of the house I grew up in, are about this height. So this is like home. This is that. It All right. Like the bamboo or rice or something. Yeah. Huh. It smells like grain. It smells like. Yeah, it smells like grain. That's interesting. Like barley. All right. Take my shoes off. Get my slippers on. Oh, we have a fridge even. It's wide open. Huh. Oh, kill the mosquito. We even have our toilet in our room. That's nice. Yeah. It's twenty-five dollars a night. Not bad. They actually have Western style rooms here too. Um, so we just thought we'd want to try Japanese style because why not? And if we absolutely don't like it, we can move to the Western style room. I think I'm going to sleep great because I am exhausted. So good night. Thanks for watching. Ready to explore Osaka tomorrow. Any last words from you, Peter? No, I think it'll be fine. I mean, we slept on a mattress on the floor for the first how many years of our marriage? <laughs> True. Fun facts. We did. I think it'd be fun. Good night. You no, know, just walk in and there's cabbage. It's a little wilted though. Cafe. Try anything and everything to draw attention to your store. These things don't add up, they multiply. Which I like that sign. I can't see my thumbs up. It's so dark.